I'll tell you the story of the Chinese farmer. Tell me. There's a farmer, and he lives with his son, and they have one horse, and the horse runs away. And everyone from the town comes by that night, and they say, the horse ran away, and they say, oh, no, what terrible news. He said, I don't know. It's good news or bad news. We don't know yet. And the next day, the horse came back with two other horses. And everyone from the town came by, and they said, well, great news. Now you have three horses. And he said, well, I don't know if it's good news or bad news. <laughs> and then the next day, the son went out and trained one of the new horses and fell and broke his back. Mm. And everyone from the town came by and said, oh, no, what terrible news. He said, I don't know if it's good or bad news. And the next day, the constable from the military came by and said, we're taking all able-bodied young men to join the military. And they, they said, my son has a broken back. He can't go to the army. And then everyone from the town came by that night and they said, oh, what good news. Your son didn't have to go to the Stop army. Stop it. I can't handle this. Good news or bad news. I don't know. We'll see. And the idea of this is that it could go on and on and on and on. So the idea of missing a green on, I don't know, 16 at Augusta, if you're Tiger Woods, that could be good news because that could be a defining moment when the ball lands on the green and rests on the lip with the Nike logo perfectly showing and then falls in. That's where I go with this idea of wishing things were different. If you subscribe to the idea of the Chinese farmer of good news, bad news, who knows, you cannot believe that there even is bad news.